cutaway shot. In most cases, an edited video appears as a series of shots that flow together. When one shot instantly changes to another, it is a cut. When a person is talking, it is common to cut to another shot of someone else listening or reacting. The reaction video is also known as a cutaway shot. In this interview, our subject is talking about the dough used to make donuts. It's very important that your main ingredient, the dough, is really, really good. So anything that you put on it is just literally a glaze on the donut. Um, you bite into that dough, it's not cloyingly sweet. Let's edit out a portion using the range selection tool. Hold the R key on the keyboard, click and drag, release R, and press delete to remove the unwanted selection. It's important that your main ingredient, the dough, is really, really good. You bite into that dough, it's not cloying. We now have a jump cut between the two clips, which is less appealing. Search through B-roll and find a clip to use as a cutaway shot to cover up the jump cut. It is very common to hear B-roll and cutaway shot used together. I like to think of B-roll as a general category for the video, and the term cutaway shot referring to how the B-roll video is used. In this example, she is talking about the dough used to create the donuts. The interview is the primary video. The secondary video, or B-roll, are the clips here in the browser. When working on a larger project, take the time to mark clips to help stay organized. Use Command K to show the keyword editor and add a B-roll keyword. The keyword is listed under the event. Creating and assigning a B-roll video sub-roll can also help. Now that we have some B-roll selected, position the skimmer or playhead and click this button to connect the clip to the primary storyline, or press Q on the keyboard. We now have this B-roll clip being used as a cutaway shot to cover up the jump cut edit in the interview. Oh, is really, really good. You bite into that dough, it's not cloyingly sweet, it has a good- When adding or moving clips, clip connections are used to keep the cutaway shot linked to the interview. As a Final Cut editor, it's helpful to understand how to locate and move a clip's connection. Notice as I add an additional clip to the primary storyline, the interview and connected cutaway shot move down the timeline. By default, the first frame of the cutaway shot is connected to the interview. Anytime the interview clip is moved, the connected cutaway shot follows. You may have noticed this line, which indicates the location of the clip connection. To move the clip connection, hold Option and Command, then click on the clip to reposition the connection. 